Being an insurance agent, my job is to help people prepare for the worst. And if the worst happens, not only my clients would suffer a great loss, my company will also suffer. I have been an insurance agent for plus 35 years. We survived the Northridge quake and have rebuilt time after time after each wildfire season. So, when times get tough, we get tougher. But I often think, are we really tough enough for the big one? I mean the big West Coast quake and the East Coast storms. The hurricanes in the south and the tornadoes in the middle. And one day, maybe one day, the beautiful Yellowstone will erupt. I have never been to Yellowstone, but Sherry went there twice. She told me she booked a cabin in 1993 after seeing a year 2000 doomsday video. She wanted to prepare for the worst, so she planned her first vacation to see Yellowstone. She said if the end is coming, she had to visit Yellowstone before the last show. Luckily, the end did not come and Yellowstone is still there. But an eruption in Yellowstone will happen. We just don't know when it will happen. When supervolcanoes like Yellowstone erupt, the devastation would be much worse than what we saw at Mount St. Helens in 1980. A major eruption will impact the whole world. And even a small one will devastate the states. And a middle one will cover the whole Midwest in ashes. Based on real quake activities, an eruption may be near. So I thought maybe I could check Nostradamus' Book of Prophecy. I will share with you what I found. Although I have to tell you that it is very difficult to predict based on Nostradamus' quatrains, as there are no time stamps. However, I may have found something that would tie a coming eruption with current events, so we can prepare for it. For people who are new to my Nostradamus decodings, the first step is to find which of the quatrains out of the 942, and I use keywords. And I don't just isolate and limit my decoding to just one quatrain. I look at clusters of quatrains. When I find quatrains with information, I will then look for the quatrains before and after. As often, there is very important information to be found there. In this case, I use the word park. Do you know what calamity means? It is an event causing great and often sudden damage or distress. Isn't sloping park and Great Calamity, a perfect way to describe Yellowstone? I don't know where in Subria is, but I am sure Hesperia in California would feel the impact of a major Yellowstone eruption. If you wonder why the word ship is mentioned here, then I have to tell you the world's tallest active geyser in the world is Steamboat Geyser in Yellowstone. And it had a record-breaking year in 2018 with 34 eruptions. That is why it is called fire in the ship. The word plague must mean the eruption would happen when a plague is overtaking the world. And the word captivity, could it mean the magma is captured in the chamber? For people saying I am stretching, let's look at the next quatrain. In Century 2 Quatrain 66, quote, Through great dangers the captive escaped. In a short time, great, his fortune changed. In the palace, the people are trapped. Through good omen, the city besieged. Although this can mean a lot of events and could be applied to many people, the fact that this line follows the Yellowstone Quatrain, this could mean the magma escapes the chamber and starts the eruption. And the eruption could change everyone's fortune. People would be trapped and cities besieged. The next quatrain may point out the timing of the eruption. In Century 2 Quatrain 67, quote, The blonde one will come to compromise the fork-nosed one, through the duel and will chase him out. The exiles within he will have restored, committing the strongest to marine places. I searched and searched, but couldn't find the word fork nose one. I searched if it might mean a hooked nose or snub nose. 
But in the end, keep your nose up was the best meaning. We currently have the longest government shutdown, which is the result of the blonde one and the one who refused to accept the deal, which is the one with the nose up. So I guess this not only points to the time when the eruption will happen, but also the result of the fight. It seems like the blonde one will lose first, but then stage a big comeback. And that comeback may be a conflict at sea with foreign powers. So we found the three quatrains from 65 to 67. How about century two quatrain 64? Quote, the people of Geneva drying up with hunger with thirst. Hope at hand will come to fail. On the point of trembling will be the law of him of the Savines. Fleet at the great port cannot be received. Let me point out to you the word trembling. Could that mean a quake will hit every part of the world during the doomsday period? And it will bring also hunger and thirst? And the mention of Geneva is important because Switzerland was not attacked during both world wars. So it may mean it is about an event that has not yet happened. I think the messages in this quatrain cluster seem to confirm that Yellowstone would erupt when we are already troubled with a weather disaster and a plague. And if the mix of the current government shutdown quatrain is the hidden timeline, then the eruption could happen sooner than you think. Some people get upset with me for giving bad predictions, but I would feel horrible if I did not share my concerns with you. I hope I am wrong. And I probably am wrong, since no one has decoded Nostradamus before disasters hit. So maybe you have nothing to worry about. But whether I am right or wrong, you can look at these quatrains and maybe come up with a better explanation that can really solve this mystery. This is Ken Peters. Thank you for watching.